Good morning, my name is Julie Alvarez and I'm gonna share a story with you when I learned, well, a very important lesson. Once upon a time, a very, very long time ago, there was a little girl who lived with her mother and her father and her little brother, Timmy, in a big blue house on the edge of the forest in a little town on the Oregon coast called Tillamook, Oregon. And the little girl and the little boy had so many different fun adventures. And one of the things they always enjoyed was when their mommy made supper. You see, their mommy was an excellent cook and she always knew how to make their very favorite food. Sometimes she would make delicious, ooey gooey macaroni and cheese. And other times she would make bean burritos where she would steam the shells over an open pot of water so that the shells would be soft and just like you would get them when you were at a restaurant. She sometimes made spaghetti with red sauce and garlic bread on the sides. Whatever the mommy made, it was always delicious. Well, one night, the little girl and the little boy came to sit at the table and there on their dinner plates was something they had never seen before their mommy had made something new to eat. It was some sort of casserole dish and it had maybe like brown rice or bulgur or something healthy and something else like maybe lentils in it and celery, I don't know. But the mommy said, oh kids, I'm so excited for you to try this new dish. I just know you're going to like it. Well, the little girl looked at her plate and she was pretty sure she was not going to like this new dish. And right next to the scoop of casserole were two fresh green slices of avocado. Mommy said, well, this is something new, but I want you to try it. Well, the little girl, she never liked it when someone told her what to do. And her mommy was getting pretty close to telling her what to do. And so she sat there at the dinner table and the mommy ate some of their casserole. Mmm, it was so delicious. And the daddy ate some and even the little brother ate a bite or two. And he said, yeah, hey, sister, go ahead and try it. It's not bad. And the little girl looked at her plate and she looked at her mommy and she looked at her plate. She didn't want to try her casserole. And mommy said, you need to try at least two bites before you get up from the table. <gasps> the little girl determined that she was not even going to eat two bites. And the mommy said, okay, well, you sit there and you think about it. And if you choose not to eat two bites before you get up from the table, then we'll put it in the refrigerator and you can have it again for breakfast tomorrow. And the little girl sat there and while her mom and dad brother finished their dinners and had some strawberry shortcake for dessert, she didn't eat anything at all. And sure enough, the mommy got some plastic wrap and she put it over the plate. She stuck it in the refrigerator and she said, well, I guess you'll have that for breakfast tomorrow. Little girl thought, man, my mommy will never do that to me. She'll forget by tomorrow. Well, the next morning, she sat down at the breakfast table and sure enough, the mommy had pulled the casserole on the plate out of the refrigerator. And now instead of nice green slices of avocado, they were kind of getting brown and gooey looking. And she set it down in front of the little girl. And she said, well, before you can have your breakfast, you need to eat at least two bites. And the little girl looked at it. She thought, ew, ugh, I'm not gonna eat that. And so while her brother and her mommy and her daddy ate oatmeal with blueberry sauce, the little girl sat there at the table and she didn't eat one single bite of her casserole. And mommy said, well, I guess since you're choosing not to eat the casserole, I'm gonna put it back in the refrigerator and you can have it again for lunch. And as the morning went by, the little girl's tummy was starting to growl. Ugh and she was feeling hungry. She sat down at the table and the mommy went and she got the casserole. She said, would you like to have it warmed up or would you like it cold? And the little girl said, mommy, I'm so hungry. If you warm it up, I'll eat two bites. And little mommy said, you know, in this little avocado, it looks pretty gross. It's all brown and shriveled up now. Would you like some fresh avocado with that too? And the little girl said, yes, mommy, I'm sorry. I'll eat some of your casserole. And so the mommy put the plate on the table, freshly warmed with fresh green slices of new avocado on the plate. And the little girl took her fork and she put it in and she had one bite. It was okay. She had another bite. 
It was okay too. And she ate her avocado. And then her mommy took her plate away and she brought back what she had made for lunch for the little brother and the daddy. And it was one of her favorite meals in the whole world. It was haystacks. And she was so glad that she'd finally decided to do what her mommy had asked. She would have just done it the first time and eaten two bites at supper the night before. She would have done what her mommy asked. She would have tried something new. It would have been okay, maybe not her favorite. But instead she had to do it the hard way and not eat supper and not eat breakfast until finally she did what she was asked. Sometimes we have things that are hard and well, we don't wanna do them. But you know, if we wait and we wait and we don't do them the first time, it can get harder and harder and harder. And then sometimes we end up needing to do them anyway. Maybe we can think about when somebody who loves us, like my mommy did, asks us to do something because they know it's for our good, that we give it a try and do it the first time instead of having to have the hard times. There's some good Bible stories in the Bible that talk about people that made those kind of choices too. And I encourage you to listen today and see if you can hear a story where somebody was asked to do something and they chose not to do it the first time and had to learn the hard way. Have a happy Sabbath.